done on a manual press. It's not an automatic where you're chugging out records one after the other. Each record is hand inspected by the operator as they're being pressed. Ideally, they're all going to be the same. But you know, you can you can develop pressing defects as you're pressing records. And you're keeping an eye out for that. You're watching for stains. It's just the level of inspection is very high. The vinyl has something to do with it also. We're using a different vinyl that we've gotten from our supplier that has a different sound characteristic from the black. The formulations that are used to make the vinyl has a lot of influence on how it sounds. We don't delay putting the lacquer into the tank when we silver and plate. We have to plate nickel onto it to make the first generation apart. You don't want the lacquer sitting, you don't want it exposed to heat. All of that influences high frequency. The vinyl makes a difference in the way it sounds and the weight of the record. It's a fine built press, originally was a fully manual press from the Fine Built Corporation. They were out of Los Angeles. This press goes back to the 50s. Chad got hold of it. It was completely reconditioned, new seals, everything, computerized isolated from the floor, turned into a semi-automatic press, which means that the record goes in and out on its own. It's got a push-pull cylinder. The old days, you would actually open up the steam and close it off and then turn on the water, and it was very manual. The computer, you set it, and it automatically does that for you. We've done the things to keep it consistent from one record to the next. Beyond that, it's the quality control involved in looking at it and listening to it. I'm looking for pressing defects such as stitching, non-fill, stains, scratches, pitted non-fill. There's all kinds of things that you're looking for. And different variations in cutting depth, which would be related to dynamic range, will dictate how that vinyl flows across the surface of those grooves, which are sticking out. And so sometimes if you have a really quiet record that starts out very quiet and then gets loud, you can get non-fill, which is the vinyl not filling the groove out on the edge of the record. We're pressing at about 1,700 pounds, and you want even pressure all the way across from center to edge, front, back, side to side, as you're pressing that record. For the UHQR, we're operating between 290 and 310. On a 180 gram press, we can get 80 to 100 records an hour. On the fine belt, you're talking 30, 40 records an hour. It's much slower. I've got a long cycle time because we're pressing a very heavy record. We're 200 grams plus. It takes longer to mold that vinyl to the stampers and cool it down.